Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So the other day I realized that I kind of miss vlogging, which definitely shouldn't come as any surprise because I mean for the six months that I've been living in London last year, I did basically like weekly vlog and in the Caribbean I basically vlogged every day and put that into two videos. So no surprise that going cold turkey on vlogging apart from like pure shopping vlogs um, and the outlet vlog that I put up recently um wasn't the easiest transition so today i figured I might as well start a new vlog and see where this is going so i have one thing on my agenda today which i'm going to take you along for it's a sneaker exhibition which i mean i'm far from being a sneakerhead but i'm generally interested in fashion history so that will be interesting and i'm going to take you along for that and the other day i went to celine and saint laurent and kind of like out of habit i started um, vlogging but definitely not enough to make that into its own video so i'm going to include that after we went to the um, sneaker exhibition they even had uh, a couple of belt bags there inside Celine. I mean, they discontinued the belt bag, but they did have a couple of nano sizes. Anyway, so that's the plan of action. Um, I think I have like 20 minutes to go before I have to head out to the exhibition. And um, let me actually show you A, a what's in my bag and B, a new handbag of mine. So let me turn the camera around, show you the bag, show you what's inside my bag, and then uh, we're going to get going and look at some sneakers. <laughs> All right, here she is. Uh, sorry about the weird setup. I'm actually sat on the ground, but um, I figured the lighting is best um, down here. So look at that shine. So this is a proper vintage uh, bag. Like I stumbled across a vintage shop the other day and like one of those shops where you go inside and you're like, yeah, you're definitely able to tell that they sell vintage stuff because it does have a particular scent to it. This bag, I mean, it doesn't smell like new new but um the vintage scent isn't like overly like annoying or anything like that i think it's going to disappear at some point and um, if i air the bag out a little bit so yeah and um, this is the front with those like two clasps and this is the back oh don't mind me getting distracted again so shiny in general oops um <laughs> this is the price by the way so i paid um 86 euros which i think i mean it's not like a branded bag let me check hopefully it's it focuses uh, down there so it says star and then let me zoom in it says made in west germany so it's definitely like i can't make out the exact age of this bag but it's certainly older than 1989 which again considering its age and then look at the condition close to immaculate let's say even like the corners look at that anyway so let's quickly fill this bad boy up and um, by the way like super roomy unfortunately it doesn't come with a shoulder strap but um yeah anyway so louis vuitton pochette clay and my goyard saint Sulpice card holder a pair of sunnies which i'm so glad that i finally need sunnies again because <laughs> you're probably familiar with this like reel or tiktok where um the guy's like, yeah, day day 15 of no contact with the sun. Yeah, that's basically been me for the last month, I'd say. So yeah, I'm so happy that um, I finally need a pair of sunglasses again um, before I head out the door because yeah, I definitely didn't get a lot of sun this past month. Then I have a lip balm. Uh, this is so cute. I think I got it at um, Whole Foods last year, um, cinnamon bun and hand cream because yeah, don't mind my crusty hands, <laughs> definitely. Uh, I need to develop a habit of actually um, applying hand cream. Airpods. And unfortunately, I do have a habit, a slight addiction maybe, um, with chewing gum. So there we go. And still like tons of space left. Anyway, so this is my new bag. Let me know what you think. Um, I mean, considering the price, I just couldn't pass it up. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna catch you at the exhibition. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But every part of my body Telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah You're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? He comes around better not that stuff down Come a little bit closer 
out of the sneak exhibition it was so fascinating i didn't only book a uh, like the exhibition itself but also um, like a guided tour so we spent like an hour or so walking through the exhibition and uh, the girl i think she's an art historian uh, she said but yeah i think it definitely helped that she is quite the sneakerhead herself but anyway it was super interesting i hope i was able to um, take you along and capture a lot i think i filmed more than i will be able to insert in this video but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed that. And by the way, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel, I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but I cover a wide range of topics. I film unboxings, reviews, travel vlogs, shopping vlogs. I adore filming shopping vlogs. The occasional high street fashion video thrown into the mix, by the way. Let me turn around. Whatever this is, it looks nice as a backdrop. Anyway, so if any of that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to consider subscribing. And I guess I'm going to cut to the Saint Laurent and the Céline footage next. So let's start with Celine. As I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, I did come across a couple of belt bags in the nano size. Those were the last ones that they had in stock. So some like pastel colors, then black, white and a beige kind of color. I was really surprised that they were on display because I did talk to a store manager at a different Celine location. and He was like, yeah, we're not allowed to put them on the shelves anymore because obviously the belt bag has been discontinued. Next bag though, this I'm fairly certain this is a new-ish style. Um, I certainly haven't seen that bag style before. I searched it up online and it's called the Apolline bag. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know what you think. I think, I mean, like size-wise and dimension-wise, I'd say it's a good work bag, but I'm not the biggest fan of the shape overall. Kind of looks a little lazy. Same applies to this one. <laughs> I promise I'm not hating on Celine, but yeah, I mean, I do love the Celine Triumph bag, the regular one. That one, I think it's called the Victoire kind of looks meh, like a cheap version of the Celine Triumph bag, which it certainly isn't cheap. It's over 3K. So yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, um, after Celine, I quickly stopped by Saint Laurent, as I said. One of my main objectives was to compare the two sizes of the Solferino bag. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you may know that I purchased a Solferino in the small size, which is the one that I'm trying on right there in the outlet close to Florence, not last year, but like the year before. And I adore that bag, but it's fairly small. So I was like, okay, let me at least like try and compare and like check what the bigger size would look like. So the Sorvedino only comes in two sizes and the size difference between the small, which I own and this one, like medium, 
or like regular size, I guess, is significant and it's really boxy. Oh, talk about boxy. <laughs> I also tried on this like lunchbox and Saint Laurent bag because yeah, why not? Hi everyone, it's already the next weekend. Uh, at first I was like, let me have one bad rotting day per weekend, but look at the sky. I just I couldn't spend the entire day inside, so I figured I might as well go out and just like mindlessly and like aimlessly stroll around. But um, that apparently leads me to places um, where you can, if you wanted to, drop quite a good amount of money. So I ended up uh, stumbling across a another vintage shop. She did have a couple of bags, but mostly uh, ready to wear and super special pieces. Um, yeah, lots of vintage stuff, some like newer-ish um, pieces, but lots of vintage stuff. I tried on this uh, vintage Hermes blouse and oh, I love the coloring and the pattern. Just, yeah, fairly long. So um, even with me being on the taller side, I guess, I was definitely able to wear it like with a pair of leggings or even tights. The reason why I even tried the blouse on was um, I checked the price tag. It was a little like lots of scribblies and like um, prices crossed out. So I was like... 170 bucks um say less uh yeah turns out i missed out on a zero so the price uh, was 1700 euros which um i mean she did show me like a couple of etsy listings for similar blouses and they were like upwards of 3000 i want to say so maybe 1.7k is just fine but still i mean yeah, I'm not a ready to wear person when it comes to luxury prices she thought that i was interested in the blouse and she was like yeah i could do like 1.2k and if i were to pay in cash whatever that means from an accounting perspective um yeah if i paid in cash uh, she would have um, sold me the blouse for 1000 euros but still um yeah anyway uh, you are definitely able to tell that she was super passionate about um, her business i think she said that um, she had the shop for i think like running on eight years so i'm um, quite a good amount of time and she did have some really special pieces also as i said a couple of handbags are mostly um ready to wear some jewelry anyway so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it um yeah give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'm gonna catch you in one of my next videos bye